All right. Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf. You're one and only. How are my adventures doing? Hopefully, you guys are having a fantastic day. I know I haven't been streaming or uploading much. I've been trying to get Monster Girl Utopia going on again, which is, if you guys don't know, that is my game that I am currently producing and working on with my uh, developers. But um, yeah, we've been having a crap ton of delays at the moment. So yeah, I'm doing like other work as they're trying to, you know, get the time to actually work on a game. At the moment, um, I do have a survey on the community tab for those who are interested in the game and want to, you know, help out a little bit. It's just like five questions. I mean, that's it. But yeah, anywho, um, new update that came out technically today. Uh, level 50 is now open. Um, Misty Wetlands and Lost Highlands are open. Echo Cave is open. Echo Cave. We'll probably get a few, a few players to run for their money, especially since they changed how damage works. I say that won't be an easy one. That would actually be quite the challenge, depending on the class you're playing. Uh, let's see, nucleus refining system unlocked. Okay, so this is coming back. This is following global exclusive setting. I'm not looking forward to this coming back because that also means that combat mounts have a good chance of coming back with the star system and thrones have a good chance of coming back with the throne systems too. So it sounds like they're just re-adding things as they go with just quality of life. And I, mm, we're going to see how that goes. Refining is guaranteed to seed to succeed and the gold costs for refining has been reduced okay significantly increase the chance of obtaining two and three stars when refining i mean that's not too bad but the thing is nucleus aren't easy to get they're they're probably one of the few hardest items to get because they're they're mostly pay to win. You can only buy them through like the cash shop. You can't really get them through like normal content means. So that's going to be another instance of pay to win. So that's already another little X for me. You know, we're just collecting X's and do what I feel like I'm ready to dip. But, you know, we'll see how that goes. And plus, players are going to actually jack up the fucking price for these now. Especially when they come into the game. Come into the game now where we are. That price is going to be actually pretty high. So, most of you guys have been hardcore farming. Um, all five player and ten man dungeon bosses now drop green nucleus. Okay. Nuclei. That's good to see going to be the green ones that are going to be good for you to get but at the same time you got to think about the other ones too because these are just going to be the free to play ones which is great actually this is actually fucking fantastic and yeah i'm glad that they're doing this now for those of you guys who were just like you do dude read the rest of it, read the rest of it i'm going off of as I see through numbers, I'm not trying to look ahead. We're going, we're going down every number, okay? Okay, so hold your horses. <laughs> but only the five player and ten player dungeons drop green nucleus. Only those. Solos do not. So you're going to have more benefits teaming up with a group and just hitting all dungeons through the whole day. That, that's probably what you're going to have to do. Just do a whole raid team. And just start smacking down dungeons. That would probably be a good reason to pretty much have a guild at that point. And just start racing through dungeons. I'm going to try and do that next week. For when I actually have time. I, hopefully I have time to actually dream this. 
uh, it's been busy. So probably next week is probably going to be level 55. Since it seems like they're going once a week. The maintenance, which is actually not too bad. But then they're probably going to calm down on it because the roadmap only stopped at like level 55. So I'm curious if, where they're going to go with that during that downtime. Are they going to have an event that, you know, picks players curiosity? Uh, we'll see. Uh, the next thing is draft nucleus are tradable, collectible, and can be synthesized, which is great. That that's what we need to see is that they can be collected and tradable. So if you get one that's like strength and you want to train it to your buddy for like, you know, intelligence, you can do that. If you want to go into the shop and well, the I. If you want to go into the auction house and, you know, sell them, you can. Because there are solo players who do not like playing with others, I say. And that's going to be unfortunate for them for this. But though, like I said, the dungeons aren't going to be very scary. Because if you do the solo version... That's all that's to it. The solo version is going to prepare you for the 5 and 10 man. I mean, the only thing that's going on is that you actually have to pay attention to your team. And if you're a healer, you have to pay attention to who's tanking. Now, that's pretty much it. I mean, if you're a healer, just let your tank go first. Keep them up. That's it. <laughs> I say there's nothing really too complicated about these others. There's no like mechanics or anything like that, unless they just you know decide to throw them in. I mean they haven't talked about any new mechanics or anything yet, so I think it's just the normal version of it. But that levels are just increased inside of five then ten. That's pretty much it. The levels are just jacked up. That's pretty much what it is. Just try not to bull rush through it <laughs> I and mean, just tag a whole bunch of group of enemies as a my my strat in mind would be you know take one group at a time just take your time you don't have to rush through them all uh let's see all character entries will be reset after matrix okay uh quill pin quests below 50 are now available Excluding old Siwa and Roaring Mouth. Oh yeah, those are local city dungeons. Wait. Wait, so are we... Wait, hold on. My brain. They just talked about dungeons. So does that mean the um, mission orders are coming back? Is that what that is? I feel like that's mission orders, but I could also be wrong. But I, I, it might be the books you buy from the um, general owners on the map. Whichever one. Somebody let me know, because I, I haven't had time to log in. I, immediately going to go work on my game as soon as I'm done. So I won't won't have any time to play. Um Hellfire Battlefield said exchange is now available. I don't is this PvP gear? Is that what they're saying? If they do have PvP gear, PvP gear is actually really good for PvE. I say that's what a lot of people do is they grind the PvP just for the PvE, just for the PvP gear to use in PvE, because some of them actually have really good stats in um, you know, set bonus. Some of them, not all of them. It really depends on the class. Uh, optimized costume comparison. Targets. Costumes and equipment will now be 
compared correctly. Okay, so I guess there was an issue with that. Uh, fix some issues that would call the game, <clears throat> cause the game to crash. Fix an issue where we're using bounded clay or well, magic clay. Under certain operations would prevent items from binding. Uh, fixed a issue where the sprites were mini good. <laughs> yeah, we've seen that inside of my uh, stream. That I was enjoying that book. That was funny. I was trying. I was trying to see how high I can get it. Uh, you know what, X Legend? How dare you take that away from me? That was, that was one of my most enjoyable bugs. I'll put it back. No, I'm just <laughs> uh, shop ammunition limit now adjusted to 999. Adjusted blessing. Strike King's blessing. He's teleporting to level 40. Okay, so if, okay, so they're increasing this by tens. From what I from what I've seen, they're increasing this by tens. So I'm guessing level 60 will now be level 50 for the Sprite King's Blessing. I mean, I kind of like this idea. Okay. Huh. That's interesting. But me and Alice are already level 40, so... Oh, Sag. <laughs> Adjusted the Sprite King's Blessings that is to allow a limited use of teleport teleport, uh, teleport function. Uh, adjusted the level range for PvP matchmaking from 41 to 45 to 41 to 50. Yeah, this was the older version. Yeah. Okay. So they so they just basically changed uh Hellfire back to the normal way it was now that level fifties out. This was just, you know, kind of a minor thing. I mean I like this one a lot more just because everybody would be in the same range and have the same like level of skills. Now there's kind of like a gap if you go in at like level <laughs> level forty one. Versus a whole bunch of level 50s, you actually are missing quite a bit of stats. So now you got to go to level 50 to easily, you know, kind of close the gap. Kind of. Not too much. But it does make a little bit of a difference, though. Especially gear wise. So if you don't have your full set, you actually do kind of get fucked over. But it's also pissing me off that they haven't changed any of the gears gear set from crafting down one level because having your helmet because we're we're around level 50 set the level 50 set is going to be the helmet being locked out at level 51 we've already ran into it at level 41 and that needs to change x legend you guys you guys are gonna have to drop that down especially when you're releasing all these and nobody can get their full set because of the helmet being one level off from your level cap is actually very annoying. That does not help us. Uh, okay, next. Um, new limited time daily challenge for main characters reaching level 50. You will now receive a greed emblem. Oh, you'd actually re just receive a straight up emblem. Okay. And do you have to do this before the 25th? Okay, me and Alice actually have to jump on that one. So immediately as it hits... Yeah, as it hits the 24th, me and Alice have to grind that whole day. So the 24th, I need to jump on as soon as I get off work. And I have to stay on. Uh, there is no little bit of sleep before I do that because these these are very very important and mostly can only be gained through probably the five and ten men when 
now that mutated dungeon wait does mutated dungeon still exist or is it going to be now five and ten man i guess it would be five and ten man these will only drop so to get your level 50 weapon which is your yellow weapon is the painting he has to get because uh, if i remember correctly they're Craft rate for level 50 weapons are still going to be very fucking low, especially without a Sprite King's, uh, Sprite King's crown, whatever the fuck it was. Haven't seen it in a while since I've stopped playing the uh, original. Um, yeah, you're going to have a low chance of crafting that. So you're going to go in to that, to that said dungeon a lot over and over and over again so all you can do is just fucking hope that that re weapon craft or if somebody sells like sprite king um 100 crafting okay then here's the spender event nobody really cares about that other than wells um more uh, yep, here it is. You can start buying Nucleus. You can start bu buying Grand Alchemy Packs, the chisels that you need for, uh, slots. Yeah. And then there's a whole bunch of costumes. Too bad they don't show the image of them, so you don't know what they look like unless you go in the game. Same one. Uh... Okay, roadmap. This is all set for September. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So September is almost is almost done. Yeah, next week it will be Odyssey Island and Roar of the Mouth. Okay, why don't we keep changing Roaring. <laughs> roaring Mall. <laughs> because it's Roaring Mall, then they say, what is it? Fucking, um, Roaring Mouth. And now down here, it's fucking Roar the Mouth. And the original gravitation is, ro is Roaring Mall. And what? Are we not going to pick a fucking name for this dungeon? <laughs> it's like, Jesus Christ. Brandon here, Mutated Grassland Cave. Mutated Grassland Cave? Bitch, is that Prairie Cave? Because that's the only Grassland Cave I know of. Wait a minute, excuse me? The fuck? Okay, so Mutated Dungeons might be coming back, I guess. I guess there's still this, like individual thing. It's just going to have... Oh, they're probably going to do the War Kingdom thing. To where it's going to have like a list to where there's the normal dungeon. Then at the bottom of that list, there's the, they're going to be that mutated dungeon version of it that you can actually do. That's probably what they're going to aim to do at that point. That's my guess, which I don't mind it. But I'll, I would also like them to add a duo dungeon in, <laughs> instance because that, cause that's what me and Alice wanted to do. Like that dungeon instant thing especially if you have a duo so, oh god now that i think about it the worst part is the duo thing would have made more sense because there is a there is a marriage system in the game and being able to do a duo system a duo instance would have made more sense the, oh my god I forgot about that. And for those of you guys who, you know, who like having mid max characters, as soon as the med marriage system comes out, try and get everything for it because it is going to be very good. It, from the original version of Grand Potato, it had a lot of good buffs, like especially XP buffs. And as long as you guys were like in the same area grinding, like, you got some great fucking buffs. I was to say, the only thing you would need, um, if I remember correctly, is a thousand gold. <laughs> I'm sure they're going to they're gonna try and sell the wedding bundle 
as well. I wouldn't doubt it. But that system is actually very, very good for using. Uh, but yeah. But the fun part is for October, they have planned to go up to level 70 by the end of the month. Then the true dungeons start opening up and start challenging players the most. <laughs> because if any like actual player, who knows? I was like, these maps aren't shit. It's these dungeons. As soon as you hit Phoenix Tower and Mechanical Fortress, that's when your true will is tested and your gear better be up to date. Because if your gear is not up to date, these two dungeons are going to destroy you. Like, mm -hmm. these two are hectic as hell. Like, good luck. Especially even, even on solo. Even on solo, I would say good luck. And I do believe, if I remember correctly, the final boss does have like reflection. If I remember correctly, it does have reflection. I think it's magic reflection she has. And for this dude, oh yeah, there is reflection inside of this dungeon too. So we'll actually get to see if they took out reflection or changed the mechanics of any of the monsters in here. Because like I said, you can't have reflection as your in game. It is it is the one thing that actually caused a lot of players to quit. Just for reflection being all in game and having to focus all on reduce reduce all damage taken. And just re-rolling that on all your gear was actually fucking annoying. But um your fourth class change will be available as soon as, as soon as that's unlocked, and we actually get to see what uh, spy and imperial guard actually get, which I'm curious to see. And then a new battlefield will open up, which will be level fifty one to sixty. If I remember correctly, the level 71 to 80 was the next one after that. So, yeah, quite a, quite a bit of changes. Um, I like the nucleus change because you can actually farm those and not be too far out of stats of the of the wells. So you won't be too far out of stats as long as you're doing five and ten main groups. I don't know how long they think five and ten man groups are gonna last with the current like you know amount of people we have playing. Actually, let me let me look at how many players you guys have. Steam charts. Yeah, you got around a thousand, and that's gradually decreasing. I don't, I don't know how long you guys think that's gonna last, because MMOs, especially around this marker, really don't last too long. That's that's the only issue here. So ten men's and five man dungeons might be. Might be um, too high later down the road. Because you also got to remember that players normally quit around the high level areas. Especially when it comes to Phoenix Tower. Phoenix Tower actually tests a lot of diff like physical defense. If you don't have like a lot of physical defense, you get, get mowed down. If you don't have a decent amount of magic defense, you get mowed down in that dungeon. Uh, it, and in fact, as they increase dungeon difficulty, from what they said, that will probably be a bigger issue than what they're thinking. Because Phoenix Tower, like I said, has very testing debuff. And those debuffs are drastically dropping your physical, def physical defense. So that can actually cause a lot of rage it's towards the ones there who are soloing it 
and quite a bit of interesting things of fighting a higher level version of it inside of, you know, a whole raid group. <laughs> and them seeing their tanks getting one shotted randomly. Because that can happen. Effect, especially Phoenix Shell. If you get to Phoenix Shell, good fucking luck. Because that boss has always been very damn strong for no reason. So hopefully it's not too much of a fucking headache for them in Phoenix Hour. That especially they need to look into that before they actually release Phoenix Hour and Sunken. Those two dungeons are actually what actually will throw new players for a loop and might cause them to quit. I say though those are big hitting dungeons. I say nobody's really worried about these two, but these two, yeah, issue. So hopefully they do address these two. With that said, um, yeah, that's pretty much the update. I'm looking forward to OT with Island and uh, Roaring Mouth. Oh yeah, and plus they removed some of the gimmicks too. They removed all the gimmicks of the dungeon as well, so you don't have to do the whole bandit thing. The bandits aren't going to probably be there to where they uh, don't even get XP and just keep respawning. You have to do like, you know, this whole gimmick thing to get rid of them, and et cetera, et cetera. That's going to be gone. OC Island, you don't have to do the whole goblin raid thing to where they come onto it. Like, they come onto the island from a ship for killing like a certain amount of goblins. Or, no, it was killing the messenger. That was on the island. So since they're removing the gimmicks, or it seems like they're removing the gimmicks unless they put them inside of the five to ten man, which I haven't done because I've been focusing on just leveling and trying to keep up with the updates. And I've been busy. So yeah, leveling is the only thing that I can do right now. I can't really test the five man. Me and Alice tried to do the duo version, but they actually hit well not, not the duo, the Five man version, just to see how it was, how it was hitting, and it's hitting very hard, even with the gear that we do have, because the gear we do have isn't enhanced because duration and durability, and durability doesn't fully <sighs> repair because it, it's stupid. They're still using the same system of the mallets. They're relying on the mallets for players. To restore a max durability because if you fail that durability actually goes down if you die and revive that durability that max durability has a chance of going down it's so annoying i hate this system so much but it's the funny thing is i've actually been playing a war kingdom again <laughs> and i i appreciate their system a lot more versus grand fantasia especially for for like bringing up here it's a lot more forgiving than Grand Fantasia. Yeah, I've been playing a War Kingdom private servers. I don't really know too much about a War Kingdom since I didn't like play too much of it. But the private servers have actually been like extremely fun. Um let's see. So yeah. I haven't really gotten to get extremely far into War Kingdoms like private server war kingdoms since I've been pretty much busy. I've been using like probably an hour or two. <sighs> That's it. That's everything. Everything that I hope they actually look into. Hopefully. As I said, until then, I'll see you guys on the next one. Tell me what you guys are looking forward to. And I'm actually curious what classes is what classes are you guys playing? What's your main at the moment? I'm actually curious about that. Is it in? He's out.